Welcome back to the 5.7 head gasket series. Uh, the heads are back from the machine shop. Uh, one of the heads was cracked, so I uh, got a, re or a uh, used head and had them rebuilt that uh, along with uh, rebuilding uh, the other one. So there's a few, th a few things that we want to do to finish prep on the uh, engine block and then we'll uh, be ready to go ahead and start bolting the heads on. So what I'm going to do is uh, clean the threads out of the out of the uh, engine block here what I did was I took some of the old head bolts and I and I uh, cut some slots in to make it kind of like a DIY thread chaser and then I'm just gonna run them down in all the holes you only need one bolt I had did all three but you only need one really uh, maybe one of the short ones if your uh, manifolds are kind of in the way uh, but uh, yeah so I just cut slots in there just to make a, a thread chaser and then I'm gonna run them down in all the bolt holes Let's talk about head bolts real quick. Um, these are torque to yield head bolts, so they're not supposed to be reused. Um, they can be reused, but it's not recommended because it can throw your torque specs off. Now, when you're buying replacement uh, head bolts like these that are OEM equivalent or OEM, uh, just flat out OEM, uh, they're gonna probably have this pre applied thread sealant on them. Um, when you look through the service manual, it tells you to apply this uh, certain thread sealant to your head bolts before installing, which is, which is like a liquid. And then, you know, once you thread it in and it sets, then it dries into something like what you have here. Um, what I've noticed, though, is that when you get these bolts with the pre-applied sealant, it seems to throw off the torque slightly. And maybe it just feels that way. Maybe it actually torques the same, but it feels a lot harder to get the torque uh, accurate especially in the end when we have to do the um, the angle procedure um, but that's just my two cents on that uh, most of the head bolts that you buy are going to have this pre-applied sealant and uh, so I would imagine it's fine it's just my preference is to get them without sealant and then add the liquid sealant on uh, before installing the heads alright so when you install the head a couple things you want to Pay attention to is one is that you have the gasket placed on the dowels that are in the block and obviously then second you want to make sure that you get the head lined up on those dowels and seated properly before you start messing with any bolts uh, you don't want to do any kind of damage so just make sure everything's lined up and gaskets firmly down and there's nothing in the way in between the uh, the block and the head Pay attention to the two shorter bolts here. 
They're going to go on the outside. They're going to be numbers uh, 17 and 14 in the torque sequence. <laughs> Once you've got all the uh, bolts ran down finger tight or at least to a positive stop, uh, we can go ahead and start torquing the head bolts. Um, so we're going to torque them in the first pass to 22 foot-pounds and we'll follow the torque sequence here. Number one is going to be this uh, one directly in the middle. Number two will be the one right next to it and then so on and so forth. If possible you're going to want to avoid using long extensions while uh, using the torque wrench because it will throw off the torque values. All right, once all the bolts have been torqued to 22 foot-pounds in sequence, uh, the next part of the sequence is we're going to go, we're going to actually follow the same sequence, but we're going to tighten all the short bolts an additional 55 degrees, which are the bolts on the bottom of the head by the exhaust manifold. We're going to tighten the medium bolts, which are those, those two on the outside, number 14 and 17 to an additional 65 degrees and then we're going to tighten the long bolts 75 degrees obviously not in that order you still have to follow the torque sequence um, this part's a little bit tricky because uh, well depending on how you do it uh, I'm using a torque angle gauge to do this although that's probably the hardest way uh, the easiest way would be to uh, figure out what it is on paper what it looks like and draw paint marks one on the bolt, one on the head, and uh, that way you know, uh, kind of without having to have any special tools, what the 55, 65, or 75 degrees is supposed to look like. Um, also, the, the other option is, is you can just get an electronic torque angle wrench, a torque wrench, an electronic torque wrench that has angle. Um, that would probably actually be the easiest way, but those can get pretty expensive, so the average person will probably use the paint mark method so you can look that up online if you'd like but it's pretty it's pretty easy uh, just find out what the uh, degrees look like draw two marks and whenever the marks line up then you know you're at the the correct angle guys I'm gonna wrap this up I'm gonna leave some um, links down below in the description for some tools and part numbers for some of the parts that I use that should help you in the repair uh, there's a lot of good prices for these gaskets and head bolts and things like that online um, sometimes half the price of what the auto parts store wants um, hopefully I'll try and find uh, some some tools that'll help you with this uh, hopefully they aren't too expensive uh, either way stay tuned for the next part hope this helped thanks for watching